Hey y'all, today I'm gonna show you how to make a hibachi meal at home. Baby, we got the fried rice, the hibachi shrimp, hibachi steak. Didn't forget the hibachi vegetables either. Okay, we need some fiber in our system. And I'm also gonna show you how to make the yum yum sauce. That's gonna be in the description. Now guys, we got Khan Ki near us. Some of you guys have Benihana. They are not spending a lot of money on a steak. So we are gonna be using a top sirloin steak. Now you can go ahead and use a ribeye if you want to, but I'm telling you, you are not eating ribeye when you go to these restaurants, okay? You can either cut your steak into cubes or strips. They tend to do cubes at the restaurants, but I'm just doing strips today. To me, it doesn't matter. As long as you're cutting your steak against the grain, that is gonna make it come out the most tender. Now the key to the flavor in these meals is that herb garlic butter that they use. So I am going to chop up about five cloves of fresh garlic. And just as an aside, guys, this is actually garlic from my garden, so it has a super strong taste. I'm gonna mince it pretty finely. If you love hibachi, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. Turn on that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post. So let's talk about the types of herbs you can use in this garlic herb butter. And no, we ain't talking about dim types of herbs. Okay, people, we talking about the culinary kind, all right. I am using some thyme, basil, parsley, and rosemary. I grow all of these, so I use them. But I do know that fresh herbs in the store can get really expensive. If you can only get one or two, I would say parsley and rosemary would be great choices. Or you can do my favorite combination, which is rosemary and thyme. To make this extra garlicky, I'm gonna put in some garlic bouillon, but that is optional. If you have it though, use it because it adds a really great roasted garlic flavor without actually having to roast garlic, which takes so long. And then I am going to gently mash this into a stick of salted butter. Now, unsalted butter is my preference for this because there's already salt in the soy sauce and teriyaki sauce, but I didn't have unsalted, so this was just gonna have to work today. For one of my onions, I'm gonna use a stack of green onions. I'm gonna slice this and then we are gonna do a little, a little segregation, okay? We are gonna separate the light green from the dark green, okay? Cause we are gonna use those in different parts of the recipe. You can use either zucchini or squash. I really love the yellow squash because it has a really buttery taste, but you can use whichever one you prefer. I am going to cut these into half moons and then set them to the side. If you don't like squash or zucchini, or it's just not the time of year to get some good ones, then I would use broccoli florets. Take the florets and blanch them in boiling water for about two minutes, drain them and rinse them with cold water, and then you can cook them just like you'll see me do the zucchini. I really love my carbon steel wok. I got this on Amazon and I will link it below. I heated it up over about medium to medium high heat. So my eye is on about a seven. Once it is starting to smoke, you'll put in a high temperature oil. In this case, I'm using sunflower seed oil. Heating up the oil before adding in your meat or whatever it is you are using is going to create more of a non-stick surface on the wok. When I've added my meat, I let it rest for a few seconds before turning it. I'm also going to add some garlic butter and teriyaki sauce. That is one of the keys to the flavor here, okay? Just using soy sauce to me, it won't taste the exact same. I'm also going to add some white pepper and a little bit of this Maggi sauce, which is very similar to soy sauce. Now remember the teriyaki, the soy sauce, and in my case, the butter all have salt. So you need to be conscious of how much you are using. And as you stir fry, the juices are really going to concentrate the flavor. So you don't want to go overboard with it. I honestly don't measure how much I use. I just add enough to where I feel like it's coated the meat well. For extra flavor, I added a bit of the green spring onions into my beef. Now I know they do not do that at the steakhouse, but you know what, we're not at the steakhouse, okay? I'm at my house, I'm gonna do whatever I want to do, okay? So I like to add a little bit because I feel like it gives it a nice fresh taste. Whenever you see me cook and use the butter, I am not gonna use the whole stick of butter to make this meal. I just use a little bit, a teaspoon here and there, so you just use it at your discretion. But I added the leftover butter to the fridge. 
Once I was done making the steak, I added a bit more oil and then I added in the shrimp. This shrimp, I didn't put anything on it before adding it to the wok. It's not only going to absorb the flavors that are already in the wok, but just by adding that teriyaki sauce, that garlic butter, that's really all you need to get yourself a great tasting shrimp. Because since you're using that wok in high heat, you're gonna get that wok hay, which is literally like this smoky type of flavor that you get from using a wok. Now, if you don't have a carbon steel wok, you can use a cast iron skillet to do this. It won't give it that exact same flavor, but it will turn out fabulous, especially if you don't stir fry that often. These shrimp only take about two minutes to finish cooking. Now I'm gonna do the vegetables. You see me adding oil to the pan. This is because it starts getting sticky. So you just add as much as you need in order to get your wok to be non-stick. Once I place in the vegetables, I'm gonna stir them around a bit just to make sure they're not sticking to the pan. And then I'm going to add some of that garlic butter and again, the teriyaki and soy sauce to my taste. You cook the vegetables until they have a little bit of the crunch out. However, I don't want mine to be super soft. So I cook mine for about three minutes, tossing them continuously with my spatula. What is your favorite part of the hibachi? Because I can tell you right now, honey, what I cannot wait to dig into is that fried rice. To me, that just sets the whole meal off. Y'all, who I love me a fried carb and some butter. Oh my goodness. So I'm adding a little bit more oil, letting it heat up. And that's when I'm going to add the white, light green parts of the onion. Okay, that part is a little bit more firm and you can put that in first. Then I'm adding two cups of cooked rice. So in total, this is probably about four cups of rice because it was a two cups dry. Now I am going to start to toss it in the pan just to make sure it is not sticking. Y'all, when you are flavoring your rice, you have to do it to taste. So I'm going to add in a little bit of that garlic butter, which is going to give it a great flavor. Then I'm going to use that teriyaki sauce and a little bit of that soy sauce. And y'all, I have to have egg in my rice. In my fried rice, I must have it. It ain't fried rice if it don't got it. Now, you could add little vegetables, like the frozen mixed vegetables or whatever you want. But I am going to put three beaten eggs right into the center well. I'm doing it inside the middle so that it can start to cook first a little bit before I mix all of it with my rice. It should take about a minute or so for the egg to cook. It depends on how much you want to use. If you want to use four eggs, it's going to take a longer time. And if you want to use two eggs, of course, it will take less. Now, as the egg cooks, it may get a little bit of rice mix into it, and that is okay. I'm now going to add the rest of my onion. That will give your fried rice an amazing flavor as well as just a touch of toasted sesame oil. You don't need much. It's going to add an aromatic toasted flavor and a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm going to mix my egg into my rice as well as my onions and y'all taste it. See if you want to add any more soy sauce and this is a delicious fried rice. Guys, let me know if you are going to try this fried rice recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this hibachi. I tore into this whole meal in the description. I have the yum yum sauce recipe. You guys know I love you and Jesus loves you. Goodbye and God bless.